Before we get into it, I would like to apologise for a second video today, but there's been some interesting news that I've come across. Now, there's obviously a article I want to cover because we have some good news about Johnny Depp, but before we get into it, I want to bring attention to this tweet. I will link it down below so you can go have a look at you guys, or have a look at it for yourselves. But it's possible that Amber Heard actually hit or abused Elon Musk after or oh, well during their relationship after she broke up with Johnny Depp as we have here we have some images of Amber Heard and Elon Musk walking together you can clearly see without even having to zoom in on the picture that Elon Musk is sporting a pretty nice shiner but the interesting part is if we actually go through you get a closer image of it plus notice the fact that he has the exact same look on his face as Johnny Depp did during their relationship or Johnny Depp's and Amber Heard's relationship should I say not he's an Elon Musk's though that would be an interesting relationship but as you zoom in on the knuckles you have some clear redness and swelling indicate uh, that is indication from a hit obviously it, for those who don't know when you hit someone your knuckles take a, a him an impact and obviously if you do it at, with a hard enough force for your relatively sized body or basically for if you put enough force in it for your relative to your size of your body it will cause damage to yourself that's why uh, people in mixed martial arts kickboxing boxing tend to wear the gloves and tend to wear padding on their fist no, knuckles because too much will damage your knuckles because of the sheer force you're putting into it they will damage but as you can see here there is clear indication now I will zoom in a bit so you guys can see as well right here along this side you can clearly see swelling as opposed to her other hand which is down here and redness now it could be nothing it could it could, it could be absolutely nothing but with her previous of hitting her ex-girlfriend Johnny Depp and being abusive to members of staff it w I wouldn't put it past her to actually hit her hurt uh, Elon Musk as well now obviously these are the articles that are around with them about her spending time with them about how her us her father wants her to get married to Elon Musk I wonder why that would be it was clear that it was after Johnny Depp's money but Elon Musk is a considerable amount richer than Johnny Depp despite Johnny Depp's considerable worth himself as it says here me Elon Musk is worth 11.2 billion dollars that's a lot of money and then we have this Amber Heard dumped by Elon Musk because of her manipulative and selfish behavior that to me sounds sounds a uh, sounds pretty clear cut when you actually look into it because why else would someone think that someone else is manipulative and selfish if they haven't been through what Johnny Depp has been through because that's what one of some of Johnny Depp's most uh, fewest claims about her is the fact that she's she was manipulative and she was rather selfish that's clear cut with the evidence that's been produced but the fact that she here we've got Elon Musk and Amber Heard both sporting injuries obviously Elon Musk to his face and Amber Heard to her hand it does not it doesn't look good because it looks like the fact that she's assaulted Elon Musk as well now I don't want to definitively say that she has it's just speculation but it doesn't look good for it doesn't look good for her anyway on to the good news oh I should have done that before then Johnny Depp might be able to get his uh, role as Captain Jack back Johnny Depp is being considered to return as Captain Jack Sparrow in Disney's sixth installment of Pirates of the Caribbean franchise 
Johnny Depp may, repri- uh, be- may be reprising his role in the, as the beloved Captain Jack Sparrow for Disney's sixth instalment of the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. Due to the recent revelations made in the court case between Depp and his ex-wife Amber Heard, Disney, ex- Disney executives have allegedly been lobbying for the 56-year-old actor's return. We've got this covered reported on Sunday. Back in 2016, it was rumoured that Disney's Lee purposely attempted to distance themselves from Depp when the blues alle- abuse allegations made by Heard were made public. Uh, pause that for a second. Why? Oh, pause on Charmander. That's where we get that told me. Uh, pictures of Heard's face ad- adorned with bruises, which she claims were caused by Depp showing his uh, phone his phone at her, were later published. Depp denied the claims, but Heard received a five million dollar payout from the actor upon signing a non-disclosure agreement as part of the, the couple's divorce settlement. The recent turn of events in Depp's legal battle and the overwhelming support from the public in his favour has some has some of the Mouse House executives now lobbying for his return behind the scenes. We wrote, uh, wrote we got this covered. And Depp first portrayed the iconic role back in 2001 in Di- uh, Disney's Parts of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. And let me put, put it this way, it's one of Johnny Depp's best roles. In his decades in, the, in cinema, it's one of his best roles. You can tell just how much fun he had playing, uh, playing the character because it, it came out on the screen just how much he enjoyed playing the character. He was allowed, he was basically allowed free reign because of how crazy he is and how crazy uh, Jack Sparrow is. And it shows, it shows that if you give an, 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 act, an actor free range to basically perform the lines how he chooses to, it not only creates better chemistry on screen, but it also creates better chemistry between actor or movie star character and audience watching. Now, I absolutely love the parts of the Caribbean franchise. The last one on Stranger Tides, I think that was the last one, or no, Salazar's Gold was the last one. That one, it didn't do as well because it had less Johnny Depp in it, but if they're going to allow him to reprise his role as Captain Jack, it would be, fe- it would be featured on him again. And to me, it it will do it will do world of good if for Disney's public image because Disney have had a very bad public image the last few years what with what they've been doing with the Star Trek, uh, Star Wars franchise I almost said Star Trek then but it wouldn't surprise me if they own Star Trek as well they own seem to own everything but eh, I digress uh, he could go on to reprise the role in four uh, pirates that for uh, in four Pirates films that followed. Back in October, Disney announced they would be, would be creating a new Pirates of the Caribbean chapter with the help of Chernobyl screenwriter Craig Marzin and Pirates alum Ted Elliott. Now, both of them two together would create a phenomenal, a, a, yeah, a phenomenal set of movies. Uh, Chernobyl, that is a fantastic series, a, a TV series. If you haven't watched it, I highly recommend you do. It's phenomenal from start to finish. It does start off a tad slow, but what do you expect when you're just leading up to the events of the explosion? But after that, it's a phenomenal show. You should totally watch it. And if they're going back with Ted Elliott, Ted Elliott, in my opinion, did the best, or helped with the best Pirates films. So both of them two together would create a phenomenal... And with Johnny Depp at the helm as well, because no one knows, no one knows Captain Jack better than Johnny Depp. I mean, Captain Jack is, or Johnny Depp rather, rather Johnny Depp is Captain Jack. It's hard to distinguish the two. Uh, there are no present details regarding the script's plot, but Sunday's report claimed that Disney is currently looking to make the film female-led. Eh, I don't really care. It's a pirates film. It does not. It doesn't matter whether it's female-led or not, which means Depp's character will play more of a supporting role in the highly anticipated film. To me, that would be better for Johnny Depp, in my opinion. He's been out for a few years. Obviously, it's just come back with, obviously, another film that he's directed and wrote himself. But when it comes back to a main screen role like this, it should be based... In my opinion, it should be more of a supportive rather than front line and centre because obviously he has had a troubling few years and he has had a he has had a rough time so he needs to ease back in slowly I'm 
how do I pause this? Oh, it won't allow me to pause. Uh, Johnny is currently in the midst of a libel case against British tabloid The Sun over a story published in 2018 that alleged he acted with abuse. Heard. Depp de uh, denied the claims made by the publication and was spotted arriving to High Court with the entirety of his legal team on Wednesday in London. The full hearing will be taking place on March 23rd, where Heard is set to testify. The couple met in 2011. Yeah, we know that part. But in my opinion, I think it's brilliant news that he could possibly be coming back as Captain Jack Sparrow. It, both Disney and Johnny Depp need this to, to basically be, and the end of a chapter and the start of a new one. They should not have got rid of him to begin with, because obviously it was only, only allegations that weren't proven and have now since been proven, to be. False. I don't think people should lose jobs because of accusations, especially when they're false. I, th I think the, I think this is good in my opinion that uh, Johnny Depp could possibly be getting his job back as Captain Jack. It's phenomenal news. So obviously it's brilliant. Anyway, as I said, I'll include the link to this down in the description down below, so you can go have a look at yourself and make up your own minds. And obviously put in the comment section down below, obviously how you feel about. Uh, Johnny Depp possibly getting his Captain Jack role back and how you feel and how, what your decisions are based on these photos. I'll be looking forward to any possible response. Remember if you're new here click the like button, click subscribe. I'm always welcoming everybody. If you even if you have a different opinion to me I'm more than welcome you're, sorry, you're more than welcome to put it down below. I love to hear everybody's viewpoints. I don't I don't want my channel to be sort of like a hug box, but also please remember, please do not spam the comment section. I have the I have the comments go straight through to my phone, so if you spam comments, it literally just ends up with my phone vibrating all day and night, and I don't need that, especially when I struggle to sleep as it is. Anyway, please also consider becoming a patron. At the moment, I am struggling to look for work. I'm struggling to find work. Being disabled in this economy and this world is difficult as it is I need obviously some help so obviously if you'd like to help obviously links to my patreon or my paypal are down in the description down below if you'd only fancy a one-time donation remember every little helps but you're not obligated to do so it's all for your own back never put yourself out of cash to support someone else watching my content and possibly the small little bit of ad wherever I get helps more than you know so obviously thank you as well from the bottom of my heart from watching all my content yeah, I really do appreciate it anyway as I said link uh, put down in the comment section down below what you think about Johnny getting possibly getting his role back as Captain Jack and what you think about the pictures that you see on screen now anyway if you made it this far into the video give it a, give me a like and comment that you made it this far into the uh, into the video and I'll be sure to put a little heart next to your comment. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.